Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome back, everybody. In this video, we are going to be uh, working through integrating this form. Right now, it doesn't do anything besides send me a notification. What we want this to do is to go into an email service provider or marketing automation system so we can do an autoresponder email um, because this flow is going to be, they fill out this form, it'll redirect them to a landing page where they get the first three videos of this course for free and then it, it, it tries to get them to sign up through Udemy and then it will follow up with reminder emails if they don't sign up through Udemy uh, to, to purchase the full course and finish it. So what we need to do here uh, is uh, come to the form and then I want to add an integration more services I'm going to be expanding this course in the future with active campaign and convert kit at the very least um, that'll be at a later date in time but I'm gonna start off with MailChimp because it's free for everyone I don't want you have to pay anything additional and I want to be able to show you how to do this quickly and not have you sign up for additional things if that's not the route you want to go uh, Active Campaign and Convert Kit are more powerful than MailChimp, have a lot more features, but MailChimp is a very reputable provider. So what you'll need to do is go to MailChimp.com and sign up for an account. Um, here is my account. Uh, they're free, so you don't have to worry about that at all. And uh, I'm going to call this Plush Republic MailChimp account. And then I have to go grab my API key, uh, do, 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 which is in Accounts integrations at least I thought it was an account it's an integrations do, 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 do. where is it let me check real quick account panel extras all right so extras API keys when the docs are coming in handy uh, I'm going to use this key that I already have created. If you don't have a key already, just click create a key and it'll create uh, an extra one, which I just did, did anyway, but uh, I'll go ahead and grab the existing key because I already used this elsewhere. Drop in that MailChimp key and click connect. So uh, now that that is connected, I can close this out and then it, it will connect to uh, the MailChimp account. So I just go next. I'm going to change these back with the appropriate field labels. I just think it's better uh, this way to have it say first name and to have it um, very descriptive just so we don't confuse anybody. And then do email address. Okay, da da da. Done. Go to next. Uh, we're gonna, for now, just do the default lead page uh, thank you, but uh, later on we're going to switch this to a different thank you landing page like I mentioned that has the videos posted on it. Um, I don't really want to add a, a lead magnet at this point. The only other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one extra field. Uh, it's going to be comment field it's going to be this is hidden and the default value here is going to be um, landing page course and I'll click done so why I'm passing along this hidden value is so I can create a segment in MailChimp where we only are sending the email to people who came from this landing page course landing page so Set up MailChimp, destination, uh, what destination do I want it to be in? Whoops. Contact us, view audiences. I'm going to put this in the contact us submissions, so 
when they submit it, it will go to contact us submissions. Next, have all the fields that we want. I'm gonna change this. So I'm actually gonna change it from the comments to the I'm interested in, which if I come down, I'm gonna close my video. I created a custom field here. So let me go back to show you how I did that. In my audiences, I went to the contact, oop, I went to view audiences, I have my contact us submissions. I went here and I went to settings. And within settings, I went to audience fields and merge tags this is where you can add custom fields. And I have a field called I'm interested in here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that I'm interested in field, I'm making it uh, a hidden field and I'm giving it a default value of landing page course. And I'll show you what that does in a second. So hook up MailChimp, add the fields, add the I'm interested in as a hidden field go to actions, I'll go to the default landing page, I'll click save and close, and we'll update it. So now when I view that page, I'll type in Danny Lambert, and then I'll do Daniel Lambert plus, if you do a plus and then you type stuff after it, it treats it as if a normal email address, but it gives you a way to create unique ones. Because I already have this email address in the database, I wanna create a new one. So I'll just do testlp at plusrepublic.com and I'll click watch first two videos for free. So right now it goes to the default thank you page. When we change that, it'll go to the one with the videos uh, hosted on it that tries to upsell them on uh, buying the complete course. But now if I go to my audiences, I have one contact in that contact us submissions. I click on it and here it is. Uh, it's Daniel Lambert with that email address that I just gave and I'm interested in set to landing page course. So now when I wanna send an email, I can you know create an email and send to all contacts that have I'm interested in set to landing page course. So that's how you uh, integrate it with MailChimp the next step is going to be creating the thank you page where we host those videos. And the step after that is gonna be creating the autoresponder email in MailChimp to help you send that follow-up email that I just discussed. Uh, hopefully this is helpful and there's a lot more coming. So stay